Hi guys, today is May 26, 2020 and the uh, market is coming back from the Memorial Day weekend. It was a bang looks like. Uh, with the futures being higher by uh, like uh, about 600 points and the uh, market is very optimistic about uh, uh, new vaccines uh, coming into the market actually. So Novavax is uh, the recent hero and uh, they said that they are starting trials in uh, Australia, uh, clinical trials in Australia, and they, they will conti continue after that if the trials are con successful uh, with the trials in the uh, US. So let's jump to SPY ETF for S&P 500. Uh, so I still have this drawing for the ascending triangle, and uh, I told you that the ascending triangle is a very bullish pattern, and it uh, looks like it's proving uh, it's, proving it's uh, uh, it's uh, I don't know fame or something or uh, it's proving it's worse. So it uh, looks like the market is going higher and the futures are very high pre-market and uh, uh, we'll see what happens. But um, it looks like we're going higher. So let's jump to uh, corporate news and uh, let's start with Nvidia. Nvidia uh, beat the estimates last Friday and uh, by 11 cents revenue beat uh, gave upbeat forecast and. Uh, they said that the demand uh, for uh, uh, data centers are increasing and uh, NVIDIA is again opening higher uh, pre-market pre and uh, I don't know, it, it feels a little bit high to me and uh, I think uh, there are other companies that uh, could be uh, a better buys than NVIDIA at these prices. Even though I like NVIDIA a lot and uh, I think NVIDIA is a really good company and it's going higher, I've been recommending it since, uh, I don't know, for the past uh, three months. But uh, I think, uh, for example, a company like AMD uh, is, uh, is a better buy, in my opinion, at these prices. Or, uh, for example, Intel. Okay. And by the way, AMD said that uh, there will be, uh, Lisa Su said that they will be growing like 20% uh, uh, year over year. And uh, Intel is trading, in my opinion, very low. And uh, they're a big player in the data centers as well. So these two companies I would prefer at this point to NVIDIA. Okay, so the next company is that they have on my list is Splunk. Okay, Splunk reported uh, not so good numbers actually, lost 56 cents, actually better than expected, but the revenue uh, was short, but they gave very optimistic uh, forecast and they said that uh, it expects strong demand for its services as more people work from home. And uh, Splunk is jumping a lot uh, on Friday and uh, again it's higher this morning, but uh, it's a little bit too high to me. And uh, RSI trading at uh, like 76, uh, I think it needs to come down for me to buy it. Okay. So the next company that I'm watching is uh, Boeing. Okay, so on the heels of the vaccine that uh, I told you about, the Novavax vaccine is, uh, I mean, all stocks are jumping and uh, Boeing is one of them because uh, people expect travel to resume. And uh, Boeing uh, hi is higher, but uh, this is one of the companies that I'm uh, actually have shares, but I'm keeping my finger on the sell button because uh, this company has hit by all uh, angles, you know, there are macroeconomic issues, uh, microeconomic issues. So I would be willing to sell uh, Boeing when it reaches like 150 plus. So um, I'm not very optimistic about Boeing. I'm more optimistic about uh, some airlines, not all airlines, but some airlines uh, that are jumping this morning. And uh, you can uh, you could actually watch my piece on airlines. Uh, I put out a video this weekend. So um, Boeing is uh, kind of a hold uh, slash sell to me. Uh, next company is uh, I was going to I mean I already discussed it is Novavax. Novavax is jumping a lot this morning. They said that they will be doing uh, uh, clinical trials, starting clinical trials in Australia, and then moving on to uh, clinical trials uh, to uh, U.S. if successful. And uh, they said that they started uh, production even before the. Um, they had uh, uh, news about their their uh, trials, uh, preclinical trials, and that allows them to produce a lot of uh, uh, doses, a lot of vials uh, by the end of the year. So they said that by the end of the year they could be producing like 100 million vials if successful, if the trials are successful, and by next year, end of next year, 1 billion uh, doses. So the uh, uh, Novavax is not my favorite uh, vaccine stock uh, because uh, since uh, 1997, uh, 
when it was started, this company was started, they never had the products on the market. I mean, they never had a successful product on the market. And right now, I mean, they receive a lot of support. They just received like 388 million from Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness and Commitment. So a lot of faith in this company. And uh, But um, I mean, it's very high to me and uh, I would be looking at the companies such as uh, Innovi instead, uh, as symbol I and O, or even uh, Moderna who, that jumped a lot, but still, um, in my opinion, uh, I mean, it's trading lower pre-market, but in my opinion, it's not too bad uh, on a pullback. Okay, and uh, another company that I'm watching, I told you before, is Beer by Technology. And uh, another company that's uh, actually in clinical trials is Pfizer. So Pfizer is a little bit higher this morning and uh, it's a very slow biotech and uh, pharmaceutical company, I'm sorry. Uh, but in general, it's a pretty good and safe buy. It pays pretty nice dividend. Uh, so PFE is uh, an interesting buy in my opinion. Okay, so uh, another company that uh, is jumping today pre-market is uh, Evofem Biosciences. Uh, it's a smaller biotech that reported that they had uh, received approval uh, for the company's birth control gel and uh, this uh, this stock is jumping pre uh, this morning uh, pre-market and uh, I'm not saying to jump on it uh, but uh, I would watch it and see uh, maybe it could be a good uh, swing trade or even a day trade uh, to me EVFM okay another company that I'm watching is uh, BBBY okay Best Buy uh, fell a lot uh, on Friday, uh, I think 4.4% fell after reporting pretty good numbers actually, beating expectations, uh, comparable so store sales were um, down but still uh, beat the, the uh, street expectations and uh, online sales were up 155% in a quarter and uh, they said that have, uh, they have uh, sufficient liquidity to uh, go through this crisis and uh, I think uh, shares are trading pretty um, in a pretty interesting range right now. Uh, I mean, it came down a lot and uh, I think it could be a good opportunity to get in onto the stock. Okay, uh, Mark. Okay, so Mark reported that they uh, joined the race for uh, COVID-19 vaccine and uh, they announced the acquisition of uh, privately held uh, Themis. Um, the, the name of the company is called Themis, whose COVID vaccine Canada is, is approaching clinical trials. So uh, Merck is uh, actually an interesting buy to me, to me. I mean, it's not trading too high uh, like uh, other stocks and uh, could be an interesting opportunity to get into the stock, uh, stock symbol MRK. Okay, H-I-B-B. So Hibit Sports, Hibit Sports, the, the athletic footwear and apparel retailer. Uh, said that it earned uh, 31 cents versus uh, 19 expected revenue also beat e-commerce sales uh, more than doubled and uh, this stock is uh, trading higher it could be an interesting uh, buy in my opinion on the pullback uh, because it's trading really high right now but uh, on the pullback could be an interesting buy in my opinion okay WSM uh, William Sonoma William Sonoma actually uh, that's a kitchenware company and uh, they have a lot of sales online and uh, they were upgraded by Tilsi Advisor Group to outperform from uh, market perform and uh, that could be uh, a good opportunity to, to get into this company WSM VFF okay Village Farms okay so it's a farming company but has a it's a majority owner uh, of the Pure Sun Farms and Pure Sun Farms is the Canada's largest one of the largest producers of uh, greenhouse grown cannabis and uh, has received its uh, cannabis uh, cultivation sales license uh, so uh, Pure uh, Sun Farms to begin roll out uh, vape products uh, this summer so it's just an alternative actually to uh, like uh, other cannabis companies uh, and uh, like uh, for example Aurora Cannabis uh, were jumping a lot before uh, so VFF uh, could be an interesting uh, buy or an opportunity to get into the cannabis market uh, for those of you interested. Okay, so COP, uh, Conoco Phillips was upgraded this morning by, uh, not upgraded, maintained at overweight by Piper, Piper Sandler and uh, raised price target to $49 from $43. 
uh, in general, uh, some of the oil stocks I am interested in, in. for example, um, SLB, ConocoPhillips, and uh, CVX, and uh, these stocks uh, could be an interesting buy on the rising oil and the possibility of the product, another production cut from uh, the OPEC countries and Russia. Okay, and uh, another company that I wanted to give you is uh, COTI, Cody. Okay, Cody is jumping uh, um, this morning uh, pre-market because uh, it's a beauty company that uh, develops like and distributes fragrances, uh, co cosmetics, cosmetics, skin care and nail care products. And it's making Kyla's Skin, uh, which is a company that was uh, actually initially launched by one of the Kardashian sisters and has uh, 170 million Instagram uh, followers. Uh, it's uh, making it available at a retailer called Douglas Group in Europe. So um, actually, the, uh, Cody owns a 51% uh, controlling stake in uh, Kyla Skin, and um, that's actually good news for Cody. I mean, it's uh, it presents a pretty interesting uh, setup, a technical setup for Cody. Okay, I wouldn't be jumping right away into this company, but uh, See this double button here, but double button here, and um, I would be watching this company to see if uh, could be a good opportunity to get in. Okay, that's it, guys. That's the wrap for the day. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and I'll see you Thursday.